I'd like to say it is a very sad day in Australian politics when members on the floor of Parliament cannot support a notice motion that I moved yesterday stating that it is okay to be white and that, uh, that and I will read it quickly, that the Senate acknowledge the deplorable rise of anti-white racism and attacks on Western civilization and also it is okay to be white. Yesterday, the Greens, the Labor Party, Senator Darren Hinch, the City Country Alliance, Stora, were ones that voted against my motion. Now, today, the Liberal Party and National Party have withdrawn that their support for the motion. For whatever reason, I don't know. My motion does not discuss anything about racism, and yet to have Dean Natalia get up in the, <coughs> on the floor yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, and state that it is white privilege in this country to be in this place. That is not what the motion was about. There is a rise of anti-white racism in this country. The most demonised person in this country is the white male. It has to stop right from the very beginning, even 22 years ago. I called for equality for all Australians. I am seeing a division that is happening in our nation because of the colour of your skin or your cultural background. That has to stop. And if the senators in this parliament cannot agree to that, that it is okay to be white, to be proud of your cultural background, your heritage, and as I said in my speech to them, which I will, which I will actually reply to now, word for word, so I'm not confused. People have a right to be proud of their cultural background, whether they are black, white or brindle, and I stand by that. One Nation's immigration policies are non-discriminatory. Everyone has the right to apply here to come to Australia. I have said many a time, you do not have to be white to be Australian, and I stand by that. This is nothing about racism, but they have, have turned it into it. And for the Greens, Dean Natale, to stand up and say that if you say these words, you're associated with the neo-Nazis or the KKK, that is absolutely ridiculous. They are the ones that are making this into a political platform with their agenda. And it's all about getting rid of One Nation and what we stand for. Why I call this party One Nation is because I wanted that. I want to get rid of the racism that is there. Senator Hanson, um, you say that this wasn't about racism. Did you know that it was a it, it, that it's okay to be white is used as a white supremacist slogan in, for some? It is not a white supremacist slogan whatsoever. People have made it into a white supremacist slogan. What if I put up on the floor of Parliament? It's okay to be black. What it's would happen by then? Some groups would, in the the, US would they, though, act, would they actually which, uh, vote for it? I think they would have. If I had said it's okay to be black, they would have voted for it. So they have turned it into racism. I haven't. In my statement, I, in my notice of motion, I said that we must protect Western civilisation. It is happening in our educational system. We have to mean sorry. This is a white guilt. That's what this is about. Will it's you, all about white guilt you that you can't such stand a motion? up. It's okay to be black. No, I'm not going to. Why so not? This, no, I'm not this, going Senator, to. This motion I, was raised in September. Did anyone from the government indicate to you? Uh, in any negotiations or privately that they no. had formed a position to support this? No. No one? No. It is a notice of motion. It is not a bill. It's not legislation. It is a notice of motion that I put up in the floor of Parliament, but because we ran out of time that day, it never got up. So you so have any still, so you still any discussions with the government no, about it? No, I had no discussions with anyone about it. Is it Senator, what, what, um, what's your evidence that white men are the most discriminated um, I'm hearing from people all the time applying for jobs. Um, they have problems with that. And um, also I have other, other 
instances here, and, I've, and I'll tell you this one here. This was put out by Reverse Racism is now acceptable in Australia. This is where a Anglo um, Celtic Australian woman went to take a child to a childcare centre, was refused to have a child there so Miranda, because. A Miranda Devine article is your evidence. No, white men are I'm sorry. Read, sorry, read the article. I'm talking about anti-racism that's so actually one, happening one in the country. This is not just white. Racism. This is not an Asian. Um, and of course, there's another article here um, having to go at um, men and cruel, cruel to old white men as well. So that was actually put up there. That's another article that was put up there. We've had professors from Texas in America come out here to lecture at universities against the white civilization. Here we have the Australian Taxation Office putting up about racism and sexism, about photos being shown of how people feel about um, employment, of the people they're employing. We don't need this garbage in this country. We don't need this. The because you know what, a lot of Australians don't complain or say anything about it, but it's about time it needs to be said. What I'm saying here is that everyone should be treated equally and on the same basis, regardless of cultural background and the colour of the skin, it's got absolutely nothing to do with it. We are predominantly a, a country that comes from an Anglo-Celtic background, but over the years migrants have made this their home. They have blended in, they have actually become Australians, they want to become Australians but there is a level of intolerance by everyone else. We have seen what has happened in South Africa with white South Africans. How many people in this parliament do we see standing up for those people who are being persecuted, being murdered? Nothing's happening about them whatsoever. We need to ensure that our white civilization, our Western civilization, must be protected and looked after. We've been demonized in our educational system about our history of our country because it's not, um, politically correct. I think that's totally wrong. And I think here I have Peter Giorgio standing beside me, a man of Greek heritage. He's proud Australian, he's on the floor of parliament. And he has no problem with what was said yesterday at all. Can you explain why, just to be very explain clear. why a slogan used by white supremacists is not a white supremacist slogan? What, what problem do you have with it saying it's okay to be white? I'm, As anyone question, else, was anyone else would say, it's okay, it is, that, that, that is absolutely right, slogan. that's okay, just because Good. someone has said that slogan, so now you're associating it with white but supremacists, I am not, I am not a white supremacist, and let's, let's take the word what racist means, it means that you believe your race to be superior to another, and I challenge any one of you to pick out, and in the 20 years I've been in Parliament, that I have ever made a racist statement that, that says that I believe my race to be superior to another. I'm the only one that has actually standed up strongly over the years calling for equality for all Australians. Get rid of the colour of your skin, your cultural background. It should be based on a needs basis. And I'll take you back to the Constitution, Section 51, 26 of the Australian Constitution, where it states, and the people passed it, that the government can, can make laws for a specific race of people, the Aboriginal Tyrant straight on people. That is racist in itself. Why did you use the phrase, it's okay to be white? Where did you get it from? I have heard it being said. Where did By who? Have you heard it being said? I have, in reports that I have read that it has been said. By who? So, not reports by white supremacists. Really. Not look. I'm not going to go there because you're you're attack, you're saying that they're white supremacists. People yeah, well, are, people out there have reports. said people are out there, and I'm white, and I'm saying it's okay to be white. It's okay to be black. It's okay to be brindle. You know the fact is we are all humans together, and we all have to live in this nation. And let's start getting along with each other and working well. I work quite well with Lucy Gachui. She doesn't have any problems whatsoever. I haven't spoken to her since this, but we've spoken on Thora Parliament. I've had a go at her some, about a couple of other things, but that's not an issue. We do our job on the Thora Parliament for the people of this nation. And if I am going to say things that is going to upset a few, I really don't give a damn. So you, 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 because just my job is to be Senator, were you surprised last night to see so many coalition senators actually back the motion? Well, I saw common sense. Um, I saw the majority of the people on Thora Parliament are white. Why wouldn't they support Western civilisation? Aren't we a Western civilised nation country? Aren't we white, majority of us? 
Why would anyone who's not white not support it? Why, you go and ask them, why didn't they support it? What do they find wrong with it? There's no racism in it. It's basically saying, if I got up there and said, it's okay to be black. I oh, don't worry, I thought about putting the motion up. But you know what? I just felt it's best to leave it go. I've made a point, they've made their point. But the whole fact is that the government has backed down with it. The people will see them for what they are, that they've backed down. There's nothing we're saying that you are black or white or whatever colour you are or proud of your cultural background or your heritage. And I have a lot of people that have come to Australia to make this country their home. They are proud of their cultural background, but they are more proud of being here in Australia to be given the opportunity under what Di Natale says, the white privilege of this nation. This white privilege has given these people the opportunity to change their lives around and become Australians. That's what white privilege has done to them, so they said. And I'll also say the fact is the white privilege is the Australians that went and fought, and the majority of them were white, that fought for the freedom of this nation. And freedom doesn't come without the losing those lives and sacrifices made. And is that supposed to be the white privilege? Is that the same white privilege Dean Natale is talking about? You, you Sen decried Sen Fraser Anning's uh, use of the words final solution is straight out of the Goebbels I'm not playbook. talking about Fraser why Anning. You're going to talk about Fraser Anning. Why is he for the connotations of the words he used? I am not, I am not, the, the I am not talking about Fraser slogan. Anning. You've, you've had your time with Fraser Anning. You go and ask him those questions. Well, I'm not talking about the Goebbels I am not talking about Fraser Anning today. So, if you want to talk about him, go on, you go and do an interview. Senator Bryan, sir, please. Anyway, I'd, 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 I'd just, please for us One Nation view want, on the white supremacy movement. What is your party's platform view on white supremacists? I don't believe in white supremacists, never have done. Never stated it whatsoever at any time. You can never find anything that I have ever said that is, that is racist in any way. I challenge any one of you. Go and try and find it. You will never be able to. What the major political parties are using this against me because they see One Nation as a threat at the next election. And as we increase the numbers in the parliament, they don't want to see the third force. That is what this is all about. Last the whole question. fact is Set. what I've actually said is Just common sense. And I'm trying to get this country that we are united as one. Have a look at my policies. Go and have a look at my immigration policy. You will see that. And today in parliament, we've been called bigots. We've been accused of being racist. Now, our party is full of, uh, it has different people from all, all over the world. Our uh, secretary in WA is from Chinese descent. Now, our, uh, we have Indian candidates. Now, we're not racist. We, we believe in all, all Australians. We're all Australians. You know, myself, Greek background, I'm, from, uh, I'm an Australian. We're proud to be all Australians. Just another Brian topic. Just, so, another topic just one. Just a, one last one. There's a debate this week <coughs> about religious freedoms, and that's moving towards whether. Uh, uh, existing exemptions for religious schools to be able to discriminate against gay teachers should remain or be repealed. What's your view? Should religious schools be able to discriminate against gay teachers? Do you want to answer that one? No, no. <laughs> 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 I thought we were talking about uh, racism here. Yeah. Can I can I say? Look, uh, I made a statement that um, no children should be discriminated against because of their sex. Uh, so I don't believe that should be the case, and I stand strongly by that. But I have, I, then I have a question to um, to the schools. If you have a child that actually goes to school, if you've got an all boys school or an all girls school, and that child then decides to change their sex. What do you do? What's your view on teachers? So What's that, your view on teachers? Whether that law should remain or, or be abolished? Keep your sexual preferences behind your closed doors in your home. Don't take it into the schoolroom. And, and my, um, my belief, what I believe is the fact is that um, no teacher has been sacked out of that position. Brian Burston has sought to refer to the privileges committee. Well, we've got to go, guys. Oh, we've got another meeting. Intimidated, and what's your response to his claims? The answer is no, but I will respond to that on the floor of Parliament. So, vexatious litigant. Thank you.